A while back we received a question from one of our subscribers on how to paint MDF. On this video we are going to take you through the process that you usually apply to paint MDF to achieve that extra smooth finish on our furniture pieces. This is a method that we have applied for quite some time and it has worked for us. We hope that this is going to help you in tackling your MDF project. To take you through the process, we will use this coffee table structure that we are in the process of making using leftover MDF pieces. That's the reason why you can see both plain and laminated MDF on the structure. This is a good opportunity to show you that this method is perfect for plain and laminate MDF. We started off the process by applying filler on the spaces above the screw heads. We then gave the filler ample time to dry after which we did a lot of sanding. The sanding step was necessary due to the laminate MDF on the structure. After sanding, we applied two coats of undercoat using our spray gun. The sanding allows the surface to hold more to the paint. We gave the undercoat some time to dry, then went in with a P0 sandpaper and sanded the table again. At this point you can be able to spot all the places that are not filled well. To clear these spots we fill them again, this time using spot putty with a plastic scraper. A point to note is that the spot party comes in handy to give a fine finish on the edges of MDF. Once the party had dried, we took a waterproof sandpaper, dipped it in water and sanded in gently on the areas we applied it. At this stage, make sure to use little water so to avoid soaking the MDF which could result to buckles on your MDF board.
we gave our table structure some time to dry, then did a final coat of primer. As you can see, all the spots that are visible have disappeared. After this point, you can apply any paint of your choice to finish your project. For us, we went in with three coats of black paint, not forgetting to sand in between each coat to get rid of speckles and dust. That brings us to the end of today's video. We do hope that this content will be of help to you. We appreciate your support on our channel. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our videos once we upload them. Thank you for clicking into Crafts by Doty. We will see you on our next video. Until then, goodbye.